Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in the world, this is Gloria White and the Annie Dog. <laughs> Coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we will be in the second to last book, a chapter of Proverbs in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And this is a different kind of proverb. The, the words of Agur, the son of Jacheth, even the prophecy, the man spake unto Ithiel, even unto Ithiel and Eucal. Surely I am more brutish than any man, and have not the understanding of a man. I neither learned wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the holy, or the holy one. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established an ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me not, deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal, and take the name of my God in vain. Accuse not a servant unto his master, lest he curse thee, and thou be found guilty. There is a generation that curseth their father, and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords, and their jaw teeth as knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. The horse leash hath two daughters, crying, Give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say not, it is enough. And horse leash is a leash. The grave and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. The eye that mocketh at his father and despiseth to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth, and saith, I have done no wickedness. For three things the earth is disquieted, and for four which it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious woman when she is married, and an handmaid that is heir to her mistress. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The conies are but a feeble fo folk, yet they make their houses in the rock or rocks. The locusts have no king, yet they go forth all of them by bands. 
The spider taketh hold with her hands, and is in king's palaces. There be three things which go well, yea, four are comely in going. A lion which is strongest among beasts, and turneth not away for any. A greyhound, as he goat also. Oh, a greyhound, and he goat also. And a king, against whom there is no rising up. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself, and if thou hast thought evil, lay thine hands upon thy mouth. Surely the churning of milk bringeth forth butter, and the wringling of the nose bringeth forth blood, so the forcing of wrath bringeth forth strife. That was an interesting proverb. <laughs> And as always, I love you.